Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the solar PV array for the pressless DC motor turbine water pump. So this is a sampling model of a solar PV for the field DC motor for a water pumping application. And then this model is developed based upon this paper. Okay. So in this paper we refer this uh, block diagram, right? And then uh, we refer this specification of field DC motor and then specification of uh, PVRA and then we refer this uh, boost converter design and then we refer this uh, uh, design of uh, water pump okay so based upon that we design this uh, uh, simulating model so here you can see that the simulating model having solar PVRA with the maximum power of uh, around uh, around uh, 2237 watts and then operating voltage will be 238 volt okay so this is uh, a rating of the PVRA and then it going to be connected to the uh, BLDC motor right so this BLDC motor rating is 1.8 kilowatt okay so this is a rating of the BLDC motor and it going to be uh, connect that means this PV going to be connected to the boost converter okay and then this boost converter will be controlled by means of uh, incremental conductance CBPT. So here you can see that this is the incremental conductance CBPT. So the incremental conductance CBPT is assumed to input voltage and current. So based upon voltage and current, right, we need to calculate this uh, dv, dp, and di, and then you have to apply these conditions. Okay. So this condition will be calculate the new duty cycle. Okay. So that duty cycle can be processed via pedulum generator. So this pedulum generator will be generate the pulse. This pulse will be controlled this IGPT. Okay, in order to extract the maximum power from the PVR. And then here you can see this. So this is a DC bus. Okay. So here we are going to apply DC bus voltage control. So here we are measuring the the DC bus voltage and going to be compared with the three ton volt. So here we are going to maintain at the uh, 3 ton volt and then it going to be processed via PA controller and then this PA controller will be processed via this pedulum generator and it will be generate pulse okay so here we will have pulse and also here we are measuring the Hall sensor so Hall sensor output will be con converted into back EMF and then back EMF will be converted into gating pulse so here we will get the gating pulse okay so this gating pulse and this uh, Pedal impulse right when we combined by means of uh, and gate and then when we finally generate the pulse for this voltage source in water to convert uh, this DC into uh, the suitable form of DC motor. So this automatically when we control this uh, uh, speed and the torque of the machine. Okay, and then here we have taken that uh, uh, speed of the DC motor and then is converted into load torque. Okay. And then here you uh, have different uh, uh, scopes, right? So here you can see that. So this scope is for measuring the irradiation, PV voltage, PV current, and PV power. And then uh, this scope is to for measuring the back EMF, state of current, and the electromagnetic torque and motor speed. And this scope going to be used to for measuring the load torque of that uh, build DC motor. Okay, so here uh, this uh, simulation model right will be tested with the uh, two conditions so one is uh, uh, constant irradiation condition so that means here we are going to fix the 1000 watts per meter square and then you have to check the result so here i am going to simulate the model so here i am going to simulate the model so here we are measuring dc bus voltage and uh, uh, inductor current of the boost converter okay so here i'm going to simulate this model so here you can see that the, the pv power almost uh, around uh, 2237 and then for 1000 watt per meter square the pv voltage maintained around uh, 238 volt and then current will be maintained around 9 amps okay so here you can see the dc bus voltage maintained around 310 volt and then uh, il is maintained around the uh, 6 amps okay so here you can see there is a vacuum of the vacuum of uh, having the ampere amplitude around 110 volt and then this is stator current so stator current having the ampere amplitude of uh, 
at 10 amps so this is uh, electromagnetic torque is having the uh, uh, the around the 6 newton meter and then this motor speed motor speed maintain at 3000 rpm and then this is a low torque low torque maintain at around the 6 newton meter so you can check the result for uh, the paper result also right so we will get this kind of result for a uh, uh, 1000 watts per meter square so the same kind of result only we are getting okay so here you can see that right so this result will be same both both result are same and then here we have PV detail right so here you can see that so this detail right both will be same and then here you will have that uh, uh, load torque right okay so whatever result in the paper right same result only we are getting okay so now I am going to make uh, a dynamic uh, irradiation condition that means initially and the irradiation will be 200 and then it goes to 1000 and again comes to 200 so it will be happen uh, 0 second to 0 0.15 it will be 200 at 0 0.15 the irradiation will be 1000 and from 0 0.15 to 0 0.3 it will be 200 watts per meter square okay so here i am going to simulate the model and then you have to check the result so here you will see that right uh, for 200 watts per meter square the power will be is, is around uh, 400 something right and then after 0.15 seconds is changed to 1000 so that's why we are getting around the maximum power 2237 watts and then here you can see again <coughs> for 200 is uh, around uh, 2 amps right and, uh, for uh, 1000 watts per meter is around 9 amps and then here you can see that's a variation of PV voltage from 222 to 230 uh, 230 or 235 and goes to around 238 right so this is changes of uh, PV voltage current and power so this uh, DC bus voltage and the uh, inductor current of the bus converter right so according to the change in power of the PV the inductor current also changing here okay and then here you can see that that uh, back EMF will be initially very low because of uh, power generation from the PV is very low so after uh, uh, increase in, increases in the uh, irradiation of 200 to 1000 so then we can see the back EMF will be increases you can see from the amplitude of the back EMF and also you can see the variation of current uh, for different irradiation condition like 200 and 1000 so once uh, for 1000 watts per meter square the current will be 10 uh, amps peak right for uh, 200 the current will be having around uh, uh, 3 amps peak right so here also you can see the, the variation of uh, electromagnetic magnetic torque according with the change in the radiation so initially is low and is for 1000 is comes to 6 newton meter so this variation of speed of the uh, BLDC motor for different irradiation condition for 200 so is around uh, 1700 and then for uh, 1000 is around uh, 3000 right so this is a low torque so we can check the result of the paper also here so we will get the same kind of result only okay so here you can see that so we are getting the same kind of result and then um, so here also you can see that we are getting same kind of result and then so this one so here also we are getting the same kind of reset only okay so this is working of this model so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye